Adding links to your product pages may help with search engine optimization and may help customers navigate your store. So here's how to do that. So right now I'm just in a product page in Shopify. To get here, you go into products on the left-hand side and then you would select the product that you wanna work on. For here in the description, I'm just gonna type something like see other anchor threads we have available. And then I'm gonna do a little arrow and then I'm gonna put the link here. You can also make text a link so it doesn't have to necessarily be the URL you want to send them to. So right now I have a collection open. So this is the link I want to send people to. I'm gonna copy that, I'm gonna paste it here. Right now it is not set up as a link. If I hit preview, this is not clickable. So then what we can do is we highlight this and then you will see this insert link button. You click that and then you will put your URL you want to link to in the link to area and then you can put a link title. This will help with search engine optimization. So then I could put a thread collection for cross stitching supplies. I just wanted to add that I don't think many screen readers do read this link title. So if you are relying only on this link title to let people know who have visual impairments what is on the link that they are going to, it may not be super helpful. I'm showing how to make these links right now as a URL, but later in the video I'll show you how you can make it actual words. The actual words will be much more helpful to someone with a screen reader because it will better tell them what that link is. And you'll want to avoid just putting something like click here or read more because to people using a screen reader that doesn't really easily tell them what's in that link if they're jumping around on the page from one link to the next link to see where they want to click. And then you can choose, do you want it to open in the same window? Do you want the tab there on to basically turn into the new one or do you want to open up a new tab in their browser? So I'm just going to do the same window for now and then I'm going to hit this insert link and you'll see it's now purple and underlined. So now if I go into preview, when it loads, this is now clickable. So if I click that, since I put that I wanted to open up in the same window, is the exact same tab up here. It just changed to that collections page that I clicked on the link for. And I can go back and it'll bring me back to the product page. Now sometimes in some of these themes, it's really hard to tell if something is a link. So sometimes I'll go through and change the color. Let's say I make it a blue. And we'll go to preview again. I'll kind of show that. Now you see it's a different color. And then if you hover over it, it is showing that description we put. So the thread collection for cross-stitching supplies. And I have heard that adding these links does help with your search engine optimization and help you rank with the search engines. So linking it is kind of help telling what's on the page based upon what you're linking to. And then you are also providing more links for other pages on your website if you're linking to your own website. And it is believed that both the quality and quantity of the links that are linking to pages on your website do help with how many clicks you get through search engines. Okay, now I'm gonna go back on the product page. I'm just gonna show quick if you wanted to, let's say we just wanted to make this anchor threads text a link, that you can go in here and hit insert link and you can put the link in there as well. Again, I could type in threads collection into the link title and I'm going to show you if we open in a new window. So I'm going to insert link. We're going to preview this one. And now this part is a link. I didn't change the color of it so it's not super noticeable. When you hover it over, over it we see the thread collection which is the text I typed in there. When we click on it it will open a new tab because we selected it for open in a new window and it is bringing us to that same link that we entered in. One other thing to note is I believe with search engine optimization, it also helps if you are making your links text like this. So you could say click here to see the rest of the threads collection or something. You don't necessarily want to just say click here because that does not tell Google very much information. Click here is not telling what you are linking to. I'm just going to show. So let's say we deleted this and put click here to see, see all of the threads we offer. And let's say it's just that brand. To see all the anchor threads we offer. And then again here, I could go ahead and make this the link.
And if it's just a certain brand, I can put an anchor threads collection. And now we are telling Google anchor threads here. We have typed in anchor threads into the extra description. It would link to an anchor threads page. Now mine, I just have it linking right now to a general threads page. Obviously if I was playing this on my website, I would have it linking specifically to the, the same brand of these threads. And then just make sure once you have the link the way you like it, make sure you hit save so you save your work. And you just find that in the top right corner.